Hello YouTube, this is Coop the Eye Helper, and today here I'm going to show you how to jailbreak your iPod Touch 2G, second generation, on 2.2.1 software. I'm also going to show you the untethered jailbreak with quick freedom, or quick freedom, which is right there. I don't know if you can see that, but as you can see my iPod here, it's not jailbroken yet. It only has the App Store, nothing else is on it. I'm going to show you, let's get to the program here now. We're going um, to we're gonna need, need to download Quick Freedom, which I'll provide a link in the description. You're also going to need to download a custom firmware that I'm going to give you, which I'll provide a link in the description also. But yeah, let's open up Quick Freedom. Double click on it. It's going to say Jailbreak iPod and troubleshooting. Just like Jailbreak iPod. Anything pops up, hit cancel. Okay. You're also going to have to have the USB installed. If you're a Windows Vista user, you're going to right click and go to properties or something like that. Just make sure it's, it's compat, and go to compatibility. Make sure it's, and Windows XP Service Pack 2. Uh, make sure you have your firmware also installed. But if you put it on your desktop and the one I give you, you should have no problem with that. I should say already found. Once you do all that, it's going to tell you to click next. We're gonna have installer. I'm not gonna do a custom boot logo. Yeah, yeah, actually. Okay. Cancel. I'm gonna hit next. Now you have to put it into pre jailbreak, which is just but to start that. You have to put your iPod into DFE mode. If you don't know how to do that, I'll show you. Um, you just have to actually hold the power button at the top and the home button at the bottom. For 10 seconds. So one, two, three, four. Ignore that. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Once you hear that chime, let go the power. Hold the home button at the bottom for 10 more seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and it already beeped. Once you hear that chime, iTunes will probably pop up. That's fine. You can just X out of this little pop up. Minimize iTunes. Actually, don't X out of iTunes. Just minimize it. And then once that happens, hit start pre jailbreak. When you hit start pre jailbreak, your iPod, your iPod touch screen should turn white. Don't get freaked out if it does, because that's very normal. It's supposed to be like that. If it's not like that. You should be worried. Um, once it's white, just wait. It's just going to be saying applying red snow patch and stuff like that. I'll do that. iTunes may pop up again. Just X out. Minimize. Okay. Once you get that pop up, it says iPod successfully put into pre jailbreak mode. Now restore you, you, your custom firmware in iTunes. Okay. And hit next. Now we have to actually go to iTunes. So I'm going to open up iTunes. I minimized. And we're gonna hold down the shift key right here. Shift. It's probably dark, you can't see, but shift. That button right there, we're gonna hold that down. While while we're pressing restore right here. I'm gonna make this bigger so you guys can help me see. So right there, restore. While I'm holding down shift, this box will pop up. I want to click on your custom firmware that I gave you in the link description. I'm just going to double click on it. And it'll say extracting software. Alright YouTube, I'll make a part 2 to this video. But right now when this stuff is done, I'm going to come back to part 1.